Hey, what's up, YouTube? In this problem, we're going to prove that this sequence, 1 over n squared plus 4, converges to 0. In other words, when you take the limit as n goes to infinity, this term here, 1 over n squared plus 4, approaches 0. We're going to do it using the definition of convergence for sequences. So recall that we say that a sequence a sub n converges to L as n approaches infinity. This means that for every epsilon greater than zero, we can find some positive integer. So there exists, that's what the backwards E means, a capital N in the set of positive integers such that for all little n bigger than capital N, the distance between a sub n and L can be made arbitrarily small, so it's less than epsilon. All right, so proof. There usually are two parts to working a problem like this out. There's the proof and there's the um, scratch work. So I'll do the scratch work over here on the right-hand side. Good stuff. So we'll have an epsilon greater than zero, and we'll have to find our capital N such that this is true. So the natural thing to do to try to figure this out is write down our a sub n, which is this here. So 1 over n squared plus 4 minus, and then our L is 0, so minus 0. And we want this to be less than epsilon. That's the goal. So I'll write it down again over here, 1 over n squared plus 4. And we can drop the absolute value because uh, 1 over n squared plus 4 is always positive, so we don't need an absolute value. So this is 1 over n squared plus 4. And this is less than or equal to 1 over n squared. And the reason is um, the fraction on the left here, this fraction is smaller or equal to this fraction, smaller actually, and that's because this number here on the bottom is bigger than this number here, right? n squared plus 4 is bigger than n squared, so this fraction here is smaller than the one on the right. And you want this to be less than epsilon. So we want 1 over n squared to be less than epsilon. So what we do now is we solve for n. So we multiply by n squared. So these cancel, so we get 1 less than epsilon times n squared, divide by epsilon. So we get 1 over epsilon less than n squared. Now carefully read that backwards, n squared greater than 1 over epsilon. And so if we take the square root of both sides, we simply get n greater than the square, uh, n, whoops, n greater than the square root of 1 over epsilon. So our n needs to be bigger than that. So what we can do is we can use the Archimedean property to choose an n bigger than the square root of 1 over epsilon. The Archimedean property says that given any real number, you can find a positive integer that is greater than that number. So this is a real number, and so we can find an n that's bigger. OK, let's go ahead and do our proof uh, carefully. So we'll start the proof by letting epsilon be greater than 0. So we'll say let epsilon be greater than 0. Then we'll choose our n, so via the Archimedean property, we can choose an n that's bigger than the square root of 1 over epsilon. All right, so we, for all epsilon, that's how we start with this. And then we found our n. Then for all little n greater than capital N, so we'll say it over here, then for all little n greater than capital N, we're going to look at the distance between a sub n, which is 1 over n squared plus 4, and L, which is 0. So this is equal to 1 over n squared plus 4. We can drop the absolute value. It's less than or equal to 1 over n squared. And now let's be a little careful here. Let's justify why this is less than epsilon. So since, let's go back and figure out what n is, right? So since n is bigger than capital N, which is bigger than the square root of 1 over epsilon, and the goal here is to make this less than epsilon, so let's solve for 1 over n squared. So what we can do is we can write this as n bigger than, well, the square root of 1 is 1. So this is 1 over the square root of epsilon. So what we'll do is we'll multiply by the square root of epsilon and divide by n. So when we do that, we get square root epsilon greater than 1 over n. So that means that 1 over n is less than the square root of epsilon. 
So that means that 1 over n squared is less than epsilon squaring both sides. So back to our proof. So thus, 1 over n squared plus 4, just clarifying and writing all of this down again to let the reader know what we did. Because when you derail like this in a proof to show something, it's important to let people know uh, what's going on. So go back and restate this. This is less than or equal to 1 over n squared. And we know that this is less than epsilon. So let's check this. That should be the proof. So we start with our epsilon greater than 0. We've chosen our n such that for all little n greater than capital N, the distance between a sub n and l is less than epsilon. And that completes the proof. I hope that made sense.